happens to me. <laughs> That's my darling. <laughs> minds by our decision to oblige to the good counsel of the spirit or yield to the spirit of the flesh lost. In the account of the book of Romans chapter 6 verse 16 yes, Romans chapter 6 verse 16 it says do you not know that to whom you present yourselves slaves to obey you are that one's slaves to obey whether of sin to death or of obedience to righteousness. At no point is there a vacuum. Your spirit is either administered to by the spirit of God or by the spirit of the devil. But thank God as born again in Christ Jesus, our spirit will be communicated by the spirit of God so that the devil will continually lose the battle again and again and again. Come to someone and say hallelujah! Brethren, the Spirit of God still have more to say. But because of our limited time, we will stop here so far to continue in our next evening service. Shall we stand on our feet as we are about to pray now? Stand on our feet. Okay. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you for this very moment. We exalt your holy name because you are the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the God of an equal power. Father, we ask that your spirit should dwell in us and fulfill the spirit of God in us, that the devil will continually lose the battle in our lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father, for your name. Answer our prayer.
You all right? Yes, yes, I'm all right. I'm just reflecting on the goodness of the Lord and all he has done for us since we got married. God is scared. Come, come, let me see something. Come here. Contain their joy, overwhelmed by my little court of many birds. They are faithful servants, and their faithfulness I have rewarded. Lucifer must be watching this, for his eyes miss nothing, and I know his heart now bleeds of envy with intent to do harm. Wisdom. Yes, my lord. I hope you want them of impending danger. Yes, my lord. I inspired the pastor while the expository messages, and he preached them in his sermon, and they were in his service. If they have ears, they will hear, my lord. Very well, wisdom. Do nothing, my lord. They are faithful to him. Let's pay my attention on those sinners we already have in bondage. Incompetent fool! How fail you! How fail you sow the seed of witness to my folk? Did I bring you with cowardice? I never meant to anger you, my lord. I'm sorry. I am disappointed in you. I do not condone cowardice. And I will not let you contaminate others. Yes. 
Can someone bring a solution to this mockery? You dull brains, don't you have an idea? Or do you want me to invoke my wrath on you in your silence? I have an idea, my lord. Dark rules. My lord. You have an idea? Yes, my lord. Now let me make myself clear. I lost my place in heaven. And I won't lose my pride in it. Let it be a good idea. Or else, what just happened to Trucus will be nothing compared to what will happen to you now. Boy contractor. Yeah, move on now. Sharply, nothing doing. Hey, Jesus Christ. Sharply, nothing. No, but honestly, I mean, after that testimony, I started. You know, I'm in love with the guy. Hi, God, I'm in love with this guy. Babe, yeah, check out now. The guy is rich. He's handsome. No, I don't want the money. I just love the guy. Hey, no, no, no. In fact, I'm going to do the new green lights. Let me see if you can. Are you trying to say that you want to attract that guy? To become his girlfriend. Are you out of your mind? Can't you see he's married? Come on, Steve. I mean, my man pays all these days than all these single, useless bachelors. Eh? Come on now. So you're supporting her? Instead of you to tell her that what she's planning is evil. Hey, when I know out of three of us, I mean, I like trouble pass. It better come to give her my trouble now. No, check and balance and see her. I'm begging you in God's name. Please, don't teach me morals. I don't know who you think you are. I beg, I get birth for my truth, I don't feel shout. I beg. Well, I am a child of God, an ambassador of the word of righteousness. It's <laughs> <laughs> Sister Ambassador. I beg, since you don't reveal us sinners, why not relocate to another table? So that we know who contaminates you. Eh? That would not be possible, because you are my friends. And it is my obligation to teach you the word of God. Ever, I'm begging you in God's name. Don't teach us the word of God. We don't want to hear your holier than thou character. And besides, we came here to have lunch. Please, I beg, let us have lunch in peace. Eh? Tell her. <clears throat> anyway, it's time for choir practice. You guys have to hurry up so that we will not be late. I beg, we not go, go. All these things, the guy caught my display loud and clear. It was only for me because his wife was there. That's one. <coughs> and I swear, I swear, if I ever get that kind of opportunity again, ah, he will fall. He must fall. Ah, I can see that guy. I can see that. I mean, you really did what I will never do in my life. I couldn't have done in my life. Are you crazy? Honestly. Hey, you've got cars. Listen, you have to take lots of risks to get what you want. That is what I'm doing. Oh, come on, girl, man. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. God. 
honestly? As in really? I mean sincerely? You're honestly going to sit down there and read the Bible? You cannot. That is because we're discussing something extremely important here. After now you say we're disturbing you. Is that important enough for you? What's important discussion if I may ask? I, I overheard everything from the room. And I know who you're talking about. But let me warn you. That man is a child of God. Hey. Refrain from your evil plans. The devil is trying to use you. Hey. Excuse me, Fido. I mean, what's your problem? Why can't you for once mind your business or I beg? Ha -ha! Why can't you just live your life the way you want it and let us live our own the way we want it? Hey. This your born again thing is really eh, getting out of hand and is choking me badly. You better watch your language before it runs into a big problem. Hey! Oh, this oh, is Check out who. Hey! God! God! Fedo, listen. I am sick and I am tired of this stupid, uncivilized attitude of yours. Are you listening? What is wrong with you? Don't forget, you are an illegal tenant in this house. We agreed for you to stay here against our agreement with the landlord. So if you don't behave yourself, ah, we might be forced to eject you. And that ejection might be this night. So this is wrong, no? I'm not trying to pick a fight with anybody. I am just trying to remind us of what is required of us as true Christians. And the means of accomplishing heaven. Favor. When it go happen, I'm not go deal. I'm not good day. What kind of bad luck with this now? Oh. Babe, I beg, I know. I oh, beg, I know one text. Oh, I get boiled for my throat. I beg, stand up from there. Come go sit down for that side. Go read your Bible. Your tango, stand up. Eh? See, people can't even go ahead when she's still there yet. I want to ask you, children, have you done your assignments? Yes, Dad. Dad, those assignments were very easy. <laughs> really? Yes, Dad. They are not tough questions still. We study ahead of our school syllabus. Ooh, well, that's, that's quite interesting. I'm going to have to ask your teachers to read ahead of you girls so they can be able to match up your intellectual prowess. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now since that is settled. Who's supposed to lead us in today's prayers? I think it's Jane. No, Jane? Mom, it's not me. I did my turn two nights ago. I think it should be Miriam's turn. Miriam, is it you? Yes, Dad. Alright, lead us into today's prayers, okay? Okay, Dad. But before I start, I want to make a speech. Dad, on behalf of myself and sister, we want to thank you for the new car you bought our mother. May the Lord in his infinite mercy continue to replenish your pocket so that it shall never run dry. Amen! Amen! <laughs> I will now start with a song. We are gathering together one to be. We are gathering together Like a dream happened for real. Lord, give me sight to see tomorrow. Don't let me see. Don't let me see. Don't let me stray. Don't let, me Don't stray. let my good heart cause me sorrow.
yeah, yeah, just like a dream happened for real. Lord, give me sight to see tomorrow. Don't let me see. Don't let me see. Don't let me Hello. See. Hi. How are you? I'm beautiful. You look familiar. Actually, we go to the same church, but I've struck that. I think we met at a car bomb where we practically bumped to each other. Oh, yeah, that's true, that's true. Uh, where are you headed? Actually, I'm heading towards my office around Weather Road. I was actually waiting for a taxi. Okay, my place is not too far from there. So I could drop you somewhere close, yeah? Okay, Hop in so I can drop you off. Thank you. What's the name? Sophia. I'm Raymond. It's nice to meet you, Raymond. Nice to meet you. How are you? That's my office over there. But since you're going farther, I would. Uh... All right, can use this for oh, ticket no, access. Honestly, I'm fine. Besides, I've got money with me. Hey, take it. Listen, this is from my heart. You didn't ask for it. All right, I'll use it for lunch or something. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And uh, yeah, that kind of thing. That's my card. Thank you. Feel free to call me anytime you can. Certainly. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Take care.
my country happened for real. Lord, give me sight to see tomorrow. Oh, 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 how are you? Of course, I remember you. How are you doing? No, no, you don't sound, you don't sound okay. What's the problem? Yes, there's a problem, but I don't want to bother you with my problems. Okay, um, okay, my lunch is in 20 minutes, so uh, could we meet at the Lux fast food very, just around my office? Then we'll talk about the problem. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye. How was that? I swear, you were so real. <laughs> I never knew you were a wonderful actress. Every time I join the industry, you can make more cash for this wonderful talent. Mm -hmm. Jesus. I feel it. That's how much I used to feel. I swear. <laughs> So what next? What next? I go to meet him where he asked me to meet him. I tell him my story. Will he believe you? Oh, come on, Trisha. I will make him believe me. Girlfriend, you are wonderful. <laughs> Seriously, I wish I could be as smart as you are. Men for so far. Relax, girl. You could be smarter. Babe, shine your eyebrow. Let me say you talk oh, from today. Honestly, I don't change. <laughs> I don't open the eye. Nothing to you. Come they go make the minoki big Ah, oh, let him wait. Listen, Trisha. When you want to hit it big, don't be in a hurry. Men fall easily when you keep them waiting. If I don't have my face off, then you get on to me. Babe, you tight. I'm a Give me five jobs. It's not smarty. It's not smarty. I see I'm so wrong. Smarty. Yes. Thank you, Sean. Jamma will be missing. I was caught up in traffic and my battery ran flat. Okay. All right, before we start, can I get you something? No, nothing. How about soft drink? Juice? No, I don't want to make this. All right then, okay. So, let's hear it. What is the problem? I've just been sacked from work this morning. Sacked? Why? Sorry. I got to work this morning. I got the late. And my boss just started shouting and cursing at me. He didn't even ask me why I was late. And he asked me to leave. He just fired me like that. No, 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 no. That, that's wrong. No, that's absolutely wrong. Why would the boss just fire you like that without even listening to you or knowing what the problem is? Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry about that. I'm so sorry. Oh. You know what, I want you to know there's always a solution to every problem. Alright? And I take it you need a job immediately. Yes, sir. My poor parents and my six siblings depend oh. so much on me. Uh, okay. Um, I'm opening new branches around and I want some of my old staff that will be good to go handle such offices. Um, by the way, what were you doing in your last job? I, I, I was the secretary of the office. I, I was the secretary. Okay, I, I would need some secretaries. So, um, why don't you bring your, your your application and your CV? You know, send it straight to my um, admin manager, Mr. Demi, tomorrow morning, and then we'll take it up from there. I could thank you so very much. Nah. I'm honestly so grateful. Thank you. <laughs> 
So I ask you, I heard everything you said. Everything. Let me tell you. I have gotten a very good job. A very good job with a good salary. That is better than the pin or the penny. That's stupid pure of yours. Yes, but I did not like to get married. You must be very stupid. I don't have a job. I don't have any money. Yes, I pay my rent. And I accommodate you. Let me inform you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make any difference. What matters is getting what you want, not the means. And if it will please you to know, I am going to be working in Raymond Williams' engineering company as a secretary. If you go there now, begin die. Now I understand you have an eye for that man. But I have news for you. That man is the apple of God's eye. You will not succeed in your plans. I'm going to my room. Come back here. Come back here. Come back. Since she has decided to be my headache in this house, I will be her brother with extra. I beg. Hi, I beg. Sorry. Sorry, I beg. Hey! 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 What is it? Hmm? Why are you not sleeping? I'm fine. Why are you awake up to this time? Nothing, I'm, I'm okay. You don't say anything about you know. Well, I'm just concerned, you know. Thank you. But there's no need to be worried, okay? I'm okay. Go back to sleep. Just like a dream happened for real. Lord, give me sight to see tomorrow. Right, I'll meet my family. This is Jane, Miriam, and um, 
Of course, my wife, Anna. Oh. Hi, ma'am. Hi. My name is Ben. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> Your husband and I will go way back. Oh, yeah. Back in uh, the university days. You remember that soup? Oh, it's oh. cool. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Oh man, he really loved it. Love wow. It. It's such a small world. I didn't expect that we'll be meeting anytime soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Right. Um, what's your name again? Who, who's Miriam? This is Miriam. Yeah, okay. Jane? Yeah. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good. And Miriam, how are you doing? Fine, thank you. Right on. You have a beautiful family. Thank you. I think my friend, Sylvester, we all came back on the stage together. How you doing? Hey, Sly man, Stallone. <laughs> yeah, what state you stay in on the state? Chicago. Chicago, that's cool, that's cool. It's nice meeting you. Yeah. All right. I'll wait for you in the car. Sure. All right, thank cool, you. Man. All right. Wait for me by the car, I'll be there. All right. You, you man, so how you doing? Yeah, of course I love risk, okay, huh? I know what I want, and I'm going straight ahead to get one. You know the fear. Get okay, with Please, please not see his family. Oh, no. I beg. I beg. I get bored for my truth. Say that. <laughs> you can say that. Ray, sorry man, but I gotta run. We will meet up. We will meet up. We will meet up. You know what I'm saying? Let's meet. You have a car? Yes, yeah, sure. It's kind of Sunday, so we don't usually hold cars with us. Oh, yeah. Come on. Uh, can you reach me at this number? Okay, cool. Good. I'll give you a call. Give me a call this week, man. We have a lot to catch up on. Oh, yes, we do. Okay. All right, man. Take yeah, care. Nice to meet you. Bye. Take care. Ben. God bless. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Maybe we should walk up to those guys for a lift. What do you think? God forbid. I can afford a taxi home. Oh, you think I don't have money for a taxi, eh? Just excuse me. You're not ready. Um, hi. Good afternoon. Yeah. I mean, I'm so sorry to intrude, honestly. I was wondering if I could get a ride, maybe to the first junction, because the money I have on me is not enough. I... That's if you don't mind, madam. Please. Yeah. Sorry, sister. There is no space for you in our car, and we are not going your way. In conclusion, my daddy doesn't have any money to give you either, because he doesn't want a charity organization. You can try somewhere else. Will you both shut up? Can't you show some respect? Hey, children. Listen, that is so wrong. As children of God, you should learn to love everybody, even your enemies. Huh? That's how God wants it. Do you understand? And there's nothing wrong in giving a little helping hand. So, apologize to the auntie. We are, we are sorry. sorry. Oh, it's nothing really, no problem. All right. Happy <laughs> children. Thank you so very much, sir. Sweetheart, there's this pathetic story of this lady who, who was unduly sacked by her boss. And the funny thing is, her family members all depend on her. Her parents and her siblings. Well, she came to me and um, expressed these sorrowful de um, details and I actually felt bad for her. Good thing she has experience in secretarial studies. I'm thinking um, I will appoint her as my secretary. So what happens to Stella? Oh, you know Stella is very hardworking. And she has lots of experience on her hands. So I, I, it's just a thought. I think Stella should head one of the new branches. Okay. But this girl you're talking about, did you properly check her background? Apart from her credentials? Because you know that it's against the company rules to employ somebody who is not properly screened, especially somebody who is not uh, born again Christian. Yeah. But she comes to our church. That doesn't make her a born again Christian, darling. Yeah. Anyway, um, she is the lady we offer the lift this afternoon on our way from church. Anyway, we'll talk about this later, okay? Excuse me. Okay, um, Mia, sweetheart. I was trying to say that we need to get beaches. Come and knock that floor in our bedroom. 
to be wearing to work on my first day at work. I bought it yesterday. But this looks too sexy. Who does give a bad impression of you at the first day to work? Oh, wake up, Patricia, please. Sex sells. Trust me, the sexy wears you wear to work are the dresses that attract customers. And don't let these big establishments lie to you. What's the success story? <laughs> Well, my concern is that, I mean, you shouldn't give a bad impression at this early stage of work. Thank you, Sean. Thank you for your concern. Besides, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Trust me, girls, sex sells. It does. I know she has the intention of seducing that man, but I'm sorry for her. Because the Bible says, cross is that man that will make his fellow brother fall. The devil is using her, but she doesn't know. Then go and tell her that, and hear what it will result to. I won't be here to separate any fight, though, or even stop her from throwing your things out of her house. She like, don't keep your mouth shut and mind your business. Usually quiet since you came into bed. I, I, I don't write. If you think that you want to employ as a secretary, the spirit does not accept her. I know you don't like her, but but this girl is going through a lot. She has lots of responsibilities, and she lost her job. Or oh, are you saying I shouldn't help anybody? Anymore? I'm not preventing you from helping people. But my spirit is not comfortable with that girl. We must not ignore this. We must inquire from the Lord. I've well, I've already instructed my ma my manager to, to give an appointment letter. To have her start work immediately. Are you not suggesting that I rescind it? That girl does not pose a single threat to me at all. All she needs is help. Darling, never you allow your emotions overrule your sense of reason and what the Lord says. Allow the Lord to make you see from his eyes. Okay? <laughs> Sophia. Uh -huh. Mr. Manager. Uh, uh, I'm so sorry. Um, the CEO said you should get in the files of the cement supplies immediately to his office. Okay.
Ben. <laughs> that guy, ever since I knew him, has always been a late comer. In the US, I call him Ben Late. <laughs> <laughs> he's part of his life, he's oh, been yeah. late. Yeah. But anyway, he's the one that dropped me off here. Yeah. And he's going to be coming back in a short couple of minutes. Really, sorry, Tim. I also did you get the fast this week? Yeah, on my desk. Yeah. Well, that's that's why. Um... Oh. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Then is that your secretary right there? Um. Yeah. Yeah. For real? Yes. Why? Man, that girl passed hundred percent in US. Okay, well, I don't know anything about that. Huh? <laughs> I don't know anything about that. Up. Oh, really? Oh, how, do you Chicago? Mean? how do you mean? How do you mean? Something like that. Oh, really? For real. Yeah. Oh, Ben is here. Yeah, ask him to come in. Cool. That's cool. You speak about the late comment. <laughs> there he is. Okay, guys. <laughs> Just like a dream Happened for real Lord give me sight To see tomorrow so Is that your secretary right there? I mean that girl passed 100% in US Something like that Is that guy that came to drop you? What do you say if I open my eyes, I will see? If I open my eyes and I see, in name na Ben. Remember that day at the service that you had to join your boss's car and yes. you told us to find a means of going home? Yeah, babe, I get to hustle now. I had to. So I walked up to this guy and asked for a ride, and he did. And since then, he'd been talking. And today, he decided to take me out. So what did he say? <laughs> I did feel you. You really, really shined your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to be mad. It's a good thing. <laughs> yes. But we are going to have to celebrate. I mean, the guy is hmm, it's fine. Sure, that one is certain. Let me just have a clear shower. I have plenty gist for you. Trust me. Let me go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that guy, Ben. He looks like the guy that came to our office today. Anyways, I'm happy for her. That's if he has money. Are you alright? 
I'm fine. I'm just um, tired. I'm quite stressed out. Uh, yeah, I think I should go up and take some rest now. When it's time for fellowship, call me. Mommy, daddy doesn't seem okay. Something is bothering me. Your daddy's fine, he's just tired, okay? Just eat it, okay? Miriam, have you told your father that we're waiting for him to join us in fellowship? He's sleeping. Did you try to wake him? Yes, but she sent me away so that I should allow him to sleep. Mommy, let me go and wake him. Okay. Let me go. Make sure you get ready the ones for the Ministry of Education. Um, for the Ministry of uh, Works. Ministry of Works? Yes. Ministry of Works. Oh, yes. The one I gave to you yesterday. I remember. Yes, please get it ready for me, okay? Stop concerned. Um, this is... This is, is there a problem? Oh, not at all. I mean, this is just really hard. You're um, working on it, Sophia. Can I get it right now? Of course. Um, sir, you, right now? Sophia, right now. Okay, let me, you get them. Yes. <laughs> no, please, it's hot. Pardon me. Yeah, yeah, just like a dream. Happened for real Lord give me sight To see tomorrow Hey, what are you doing here? I came to meet up with this girl, man hmm. I'm happy to meet up with the girl we have having lunch right here Oh, really? Well, this is my favorite spot I'm always here For real, they got good food here, man hmm. How about your friend, um, Sly? Oh, Sly, he, he went to Abuja I'm trying to work out this business uh, deal with the Inspector General of Police. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to bring in some uh, gadgets to help the police out, like uh, the bugging pieces, uh, triangulators, uh, security cameras. Once the deal is done, we will sign it and bring it equipment straight up. Fantastic. I mean, that's, that's simply fantastic. Really, you know what? Bringing those things in is going to help out in coming crimes in this country. In this country. And it pays well. That's good. <laughs> That's nice, that's nice. Ah, hey, can I buy you lunch, okay? On me. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. What? You want me to eat before the girl gets here? Okay. Okay. Hey, let's not forget. Mm -hmm. I have my birthday party on weekend. Mm. And I, I need you to be present. Weekend, wait. 
this weekend, Saturday, at my new house, and I want you there, Raymond, don't say no. Tell you what, I'll discuss this with my wife, and see if you can come. Raymond, between you and I, can we just leave the wife thing out there? Ah, uh, there's something about the Bible that says, all things will pass away, behold, all things have become new. I'm, I'm like a changed man right now, I'm, I'm kind of humble these days, okay, so... I don't think I can back in here. I appreciate it if you're there. Yeah, no problem. I need to post that for friends like you. You know what? I'll talk to my wife about it and I, I should be able to talk. I just need you to be present. I'll try. Now you talk. Alright, I'll try. Do you? I'll try. Deal. Saturday. I'll try. There we go. <laughs> You know that to make him feel that I love him, so you can take good care of me. Good deal. Very very good deal. No argument. You did the right thing. Yeah. Um. I I met your boss um at the fast food joint today. Can you introduce us? I see you. Did you come with someone? Say that. I know where you're coming from. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me what he was all alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unless I forgot, um, Ben is having his birthday party on Saturday. Mm -hmm. I need your help. I need you to help us serve the curse at uh, the party. Uh, I'm going to be working on Saturday. Uh, well, the party is for 6 p.m. Uh, that means you're safe because I'll close by 2 p.m. and I'll be right there. Wow. Deal, <laughs> girl. What? Deal? <laughs> <laughs> Me sorrows. Ah, 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 I'll try you put tomorrow, okay? I'm very tired right now. Tomorrow? Uh, 
but this is what you've been saying for the past three weeks now. I don't understand what is wrong with you. I don't see how you who laid the foundation of everyday fellowship in your home will begin to backslide. Every day your love for the things of God is waxing cold. It's a very stressful day for me and I'm sorry I said I will join you from tomorrow, okay? You neither read your Bible, you neither go to church, or even attend weekly services. What is it like? What is wrong with you that you can't tell me, me, your wife? This is a stressful day. I've been stressed out. Stress? Did you say stress? Okay. Tomorrow will be another stressful day. From the things right now, tomorrow will be another stressful day. Why are you sounding like this? Huh? I really don't like that sound. That I feel in the last three weeks does not mean that I'm not serious to what I'm saying of my spiritual life. What I'm saying is, I'm tired, so tomorrow I will join you. Period. Okay. Anyway, I, I saw the pastor today, and he asked me to tell you wants to see you. wants to see me? Why? Is it about the same issue? Yes. He's beginning to get scared that something is wrong with my husband. I had no choice than to run to him. A dream happened for me. Lord, give me sight to see tomorrow. Don't let me see. Don't let me see. Don't let me stray. Don't let me. Don't stray. let my good heart cause me sorrow. 